Alright. Welcome back, everyone. Hold on. I'm sorry. There we go. I had to turn down the volume. If this video is too loud, I might have to go back and turn down the volume again on this game. But, welcome back to Cradle. A new day, a new dollar. And we are on the search for the 10th pavilion. Alright. So, we gotta make our way all the way back over there. Um, but on a better note, I officially have a not a lot, but a little bit more room on my... After cleaning up my computer, I have a little bit more room, so... Uh, I won't have to limit myself as much. I still have to limit myself, but I won't have to limit myself as much. And here we go. I'll be back. Oop. Ah, uh, damn it. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, I have nephews and nieces over, and... Ah, uh, yeah. But, continuing. We going to I did I need to take anything with me? I just power sources discharge. Head to the get go better whatever some garden Gobera garden to obtain a new battery. My question is where did this uh automatic uh, oh holy snap it's all the way up there. You know what? I'm gonna make my way back. And use it because I don't wanna make this long walk back for a you know, third or fourth time. Oh, that means we're gonna have to play that cube game again. Oh, I hate that game so much. Well, I shouldn't say I hate it, but I do not like it. Let's press tab again so we can get that out of our face. And, uh, yeah, we've made some quite some progress. I don't know how much progress, because I don't know how long this game is. But we made some progress. We figured out some of the mysteries. So, press the middle button. Let's go. I wonder when this thing's gonna break. And it's like, you can't use this anymore. On the right side, I don't see many blobs. The illness in those kids wasn't accidental. Before getting sick, there was something special about them, some kind of useful quality. This quality allegedly gave them an intellectual advantage over grown-ups. Oh, snap. Okay. There's the weird bubble with the plug. We can't go up this pavilion. That's the first is it the seventh? Uh, tenth pavilion. It's one of these. Second, fourth, sixth. Um, excuse me. Nine. It only goes up to nine. Oh no, it's right there. Cloud Country. Oh, these are pavilions too. I did not know that. I'm at the tenth pavilion. Come on. I see you. Go on in. Oh, they're doing those black masses. And then we do our fade to black. We go to a loading screen. While we do that, I'm going to set things to download on my phone. Boom. I am putting anime and manga issues to download. Alright, oh, wait. just in time. Look, it's a battery. I have no idea where the hell I'm supposed to put that shit. 
collect 30 yellow cubes to gain the battery. Hurl cubes up rising stream, create platforms. Apply yellow cubes to white ones to create a platform. <laughs> oh, really? Come on. Where are you? Get out of here. Get out of here, I said. Dang it. Go away. Oh. Does it just destroy? Oh, it just utterly obliterates those little motherfuckers. Alright, right, uh, E. E, sorry. I forgot the buttons. Oops. Well. E. Oh no! Damn it! Go away! You're a jerk. Nobody likes a jerk. Oh no! No, no, no! Crap! Jump! There we go. Aw, oh, come on, seriously? Go away. Uh, where's the white block? I swear there was a white block. There we go. Oh! All right, build up. No, dang it. I hate this block level. I hate it so much. There we go. Start keeping these blocks in my inventory. Only throw them when necessary. Probably keep a whole bunch of white blocks as well, rather than just one or two. What up? Go well. Oh, missed. All right, I only got one more space. Come on, go away. There you go. Boom. Ho bag. Oh man, no, 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 no! Damn it. Piece of shit. Alright. Create some more platforms then. here create another platform oh no 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 are you serious with this shit go away this fucking thing that really pisses me off now are you serious? My throat doesn't reach, of course. Oh, what the hell was that shit?
Might as well collect fucking cubes. Of course not. Go away. Just go away. Are you serious? What the hell? Why the fuck did he throw my next block? You see that shit? He just threw my next block. Oh. Wrong button. That was my bad. My bad again. Wrong button. Just go away. Alright. At the very least, I need this block. Right there. This block. Like this. Alright. Platform. Good. Another platform. Good. Is it disappearing? Yep, it's disappearing. No! Okay, cool. And there we go. Start collecting these blocks again. Come on, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. There we go. Can't be standing here with this thing. Okay, cool. I need to get to that side without falling. Yeah. Oh, I forgot the rest shift. That gave me a gave me a heart attack. Create a platform. Create a platform. Oh no, I'm stuck. Suck it all up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do I have any... Oh, no, I can't check my inventory yet. White blocks, yes. One white block. Oops. Miss me, whole bag. Gonna hit me right underneath me, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is. Screw you. All right. Create that. Don't stop. Are you fucking serious with this shit? Alright. Once this SLB stops, I'm gonna have to try to get... Over there. There we go. Let's go buck wild. Three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. Not here, not here, not here, not here. God damn you. Um, do I even have any more blocks left? There's a white block over there and a yellow one over there. Don't hit the ground, don't hit the ground. Are you fucking serious? I hit the fucking ground. Motherfucker. Alright. Let's take these two. I know there's yellow block, block somewhere around here. Before this stops. Where's this damn yellow block? There we go.
There it is. In a very, very bad spot. One. I think I ran out of blocks. Two. No! What the fuck? You see that shit? It keeps throwing my blocks out non-stop. Hit the ground! Oh, hit the ground that you fucking hit the ground. Alright, one, two, three. Of course. Get out of my way, get out of my way, get out of my way before this, this motherfucker comes back. One. No, no, no! Fuck. I screwed that up, didn't I? Alright. One. Two. Oh no, my white block! I needed that white block. Yeah, I destroyed my white block, son of a bitch. Let's see if I can see it. Anything, anything! I would have been done by now if this game hadn't screwed me over. One more, don't just don't hit the ground, don't hit the ground! Don't hit the ground! Don't hit the ground! Are you fucking serious? Did you what the hell? There's nothing else to fucking use. Why am I still even playing the game? Of course. Why not? I missed every damn block except I need this block. You need to go right here. No! Why do I keep pressing the wrong buttons? Fuck you. Where is it? Give me a fucking break. Are you serious? There it is. Go away. I missed? What the hell? That's it. Game over, man. Game over. Wait, what is that? I don't know what the black boxes do. I forgot what they do. About to find out, though. Okay. In retrospect, that was probably a hor horrid idea. Hello, good friend. I would really like to know where, why I'm still playing this game if I have no chance of winning. Oh, dear God, why did I do that? <laughs> why am I still in this game? Are there blocks that I'm just not seeing or something? I wonder I couldn't jump. Gotta be something somewhere. Apparently it's saying I still have a chance to win. That or it's just being a douche. I think it's just being a douche. Anything, 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 nothing, 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 anything, 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 anything. I don't see anything. Yeah. There we go. Let's see if there's anything over here. Nothing. Not a single freaking thing. Why am I still even here then? If I can't win, why am I still playing? I don't have any in my inventory. 
Maybe there's something over there. I can do it like that. Okay. So, uh, yeah. If I can still win, where are all my blocks? Why is it torturing me like this? Why is it torturing me like this? I know I can't win. I don't have enough blocks. <sighs> I guess it's just a matter of time until time runs out or something. Well, I'll be back after this shit's done, because this is starting to get on my nerves. I know it's not supposed to be this type of game where I get angry and cuss and stuff, but... I don't know if it's just a bug or something, but it's not letting me go. It's not letting me restart, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. And I finally got the last two damn blocks. One of them was stuck down by the glass. I had to pick it up by floating up. And one was underneath everything. <sighs> that was... Very trying for my patience. Especially for a person like me who has zero patience. <sighs> well, one out of two... Well, yeah, that's pretty bad. Two of, those cube two of these cube puzzles I failed miserably one of these cube puzzles, I did alright. And it's going to lag again. I don't know why. I found out what special quality those kids had. They had exceptionally developed visual perception. Visual and aesthetic. For them, the shape, color, and the like of surrounding objects was of critical importance. Some things were beautiful in their eyes, others the definition of ugly. And here's the kicker. They were always in consensus. But it was that very ability that ultimately became their plight. The particulars, however, I still do not know. Hmm. This mystery keeps getting more and more confusing as time goes by. I know some sort of disease took over people, and then they got these meta bodies. Ah, oh, fucking cut it out. I don't know what's up with my computer. One minute I'll be doing just fine with this game, and the next. It'll be god awful. Did you bring the battery? Here it is. Let's replace it. Go ahead. But you'll need to switch me off first. All right. Here come the shakes again. Well, no way around that. Yep. Yeah. Shut me down. See you in a minute. And I never shut her back. I never turn her back off. Or turn back on again. Uh, I don't think I need to put it there. Ooh, that's an old ass battery. And there we go. Did 
That always makes it sound like I did something wrong. Two attacks in one day. I'm breaking records. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Well, did you find out anything? Yes. Did you find your number? My number? Oh, no, not yet. But I did learn what the children were treated for. Remember I told you that the shape of objects was important to them? I do. Well, their illness was called morphophobia. Fear of a shape. Or to be more precise, an aversion to it. What kind of shape? The human body. They couldn't stand the sight of a human body. That was their disease. What do you mean that they couldn't stand it? They would literally get sick, vomiting at the sight of any person. Their teachers, doctors, passers-by, their own parents, even seeing each other in the mirror. What did they dislike so much about the human body? We never did find the answer. The children weren't able to articulate their feelings. First of all, they were really young. And secondly, they were unable to communicate at all with anyone. Any attempt at communication caused suffering and psychogenic vomiting. It is it's a weird what disease. What an unusual disease. Yes, which is why the treatment was likewise unusual. Now I know the purpose behind those strange activities. Playing with cubes, collecting parts, and so on. So why were they assembling an embody on stage? To cultivate in the children a positive association with the sight of a human body. They were using those bits to independently assemble a fairy tale character, a positive character. And thanks to their efforts, a young woman would take the stage, the defender of beauty, protecting a blossoming garden from a wicked witch. The witch symbolized ugliness? Evidently. Beauty would triumph over ugliness, and the children rejoiced at their involvement in bringing about a happy end. Bit by bit, their repulsion toward the human body was thus dislodged from their psyches, replaced by a new mindset, which filled the human body with beauty and goodness. But why did they need to go through a transfer? The transfer anchored this mindset. All the emotional experience obtained at the Grubera Garden would anchor only in a new body. Otherwise, the therapy had no effect. I see. And the cubes? What was their purpose? The cubes have an extremely simple shape. Playing in the pavilions blunted the kids' excessive sensitivity. Their psyches were being simplified so as to start sewing in them trivial categories. Good and evil, beauty and ugliness. Because their perception developed in an anomalous manner, the kids saw the world of shapes very differently, in a way that grown-ups could never understand. And there was no other way to save their lives other than to... Make them simpler. I'm still having trouble understanding. Hold on. Meyer. Hennebish. My name is Ida Meyer. You remembered? I found a journal. It contains my data. Here. Ida Meyer, age 26, City of Geneva. My personal number. And a date. August 15th, 2058. What year is it, by the way? 76. Whoa. So, I'm a psychologist from Geneva, and I've been lying in Mongolian soil for 18 years. <laughs> in a candy box. And not in soil, but in sand. Very well, in sand. And now I'm in a flower vase, trying to verify my number. Only... What? It's not working. The network interface. I can't get online. I guess the vase doesn't integrate with the web. Enabish, there's another network terminal underneath the TV. It's functional only without power. If you can power it up, I'll be able to get online. Help me understand something. What? How did the kids react to seeing a mechanical body? The same way as an organic one. They puked. 
But then, how did they interact with the staff? Their bouts of morphophobia were suppressed. The complex was equipped with these emitters. I don't know how they worked, but exposure to them enabled the kids to communicate with the staff as well as among themselves. Got it. All right, and this is where I call it a day. I know what to do next, but the recording's going on a little too long. So, uh, again, I apologize for my uh, <laughs> temper, since I seem to lose it quite a bit. And I'll see you guys around next time. This is Boogeyman.